Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and I want to talk to you today about application security and specifically where you would use a web application firewall. And here at F5, we've got more than one web application firewall. We've got our advanced web application firewall or our AWAF, advanced WAF. Uh, and then we also have Nginx App Protect. It's a more modern, lightweight web application firewall, but they're both web ap application firewalls. So to, uh, to kind of set the stage here a little bit, I want to talk about applications, and applications are at the heart of business today. And most companies utilize, you know, sometimes upwards of thousands of applications to do their business. Um, but certainly, there are many, many applications that any business is going to use, right? And so you need to you need to protect those applications. Um, those applications can be built in a number of different ways. But I'm just going to put kind of this uh, this spectrum, this uh, this you know line of what I'll call monolithic applications, and then go all the way down here to like microservices, right? Um, services. And I'm just going to put you know like a a line down here. So these monolithic tend to be more you know legacy based applications, and these tend to be more um, modern, you know, with with uh, architecture and you know, deployment methods and all that kind of stuff. So you've got anywhere from monolithic all the way down to a, a type of like microservices type um, application deployment method. And so uh, the truth is as well, you don't just have a monolithic application or you don't just have a microservices based application. You've got, you've got all of this probably, right? Um, or certainly somewhere in the midst of all this. So there are applications, I'll just put, you know, apps right here that just run the range of this. So some are up here, some are down here, some are over here, you know, whatever. And, uh, and some are built this way, some are built that way, uh, you know, as it, as it turns out. Um, as this is happening, or as applications are built, uh, according to these different, you know, um, uh, application deployment methods or architecture types, that kind of thing, you also have kind of out here, if you will, uh, attackers and attackers are attacking all different kinds of stuff and I'm going to put kind of on a spectrum here you've got network based attacks and you also have application based attacks so this also runs the gamut so a network based attack may be something like a DDoS attack let's say you've got a, a botnet an attacker with a botnet that's launching a ton of you know, um, like a UDP flood, you know, for DNS amplification or something like that, right? Uh, but then you also have application. I'll, I'll put uh, like the OWASP uh, top 10 here, that's a TOP 10, right? So you may have an application layer attack, uh, something like a, an injection attack, like a SQL injection or maybe cross-site scripting or another one on the OWASP top 10 is um, insecure deserialization. That's a, that's a mouthful. Um, but you've got those types of attacks as well. So the truth is, you have applications, and they run the they run the spectrum from monolithic all the way down to microservices. Um, and then you have attackers launching attacks, different types of attacks at all those applications. So it's this crazy, it's this crazy you know scenario. It's this crazy world we live in, right? Um, you've also got applications deployed in a variety of locations. So you've got everything from on premises to cloud and, and even in the cloud. You may have public cloud, you may have private cloud, you may have hybrid. Um, so there's just a lot of moving parts and pieces going on with all this stuff. And so the question is, when we talk about a, uh, a web application firewall, um, you know, I'll just put, maybe I'll put, you know, WAF over here. Uh, a, a web application firewall is necessary to protect your applications from all these different types of attacks, right? Um, and so, uh, it's good to have, from just a general security perspective, it's good to have a layered security approach. So some applications need uh, more focused security from a network perspective. So maybe you know there's a lot of network attacks, and so the network that it that it you know that that it rides on, right, is being attacked. Like the actual network itself is being attacked. Um, other applications may need more protection, more security from the application itself. So the application is being attacked in the case of like these layer seven type attacks, right? Uh, where you know, you're, you're getting injected or you're getting cross-site scripted or you know, any number of things. Um, and so the, the placement of the web application firewall 
uh, starts to come into question here, like, hey, where do I put my web application firewall? And the answer is it, it kind of depends on where the application uh, lives, and it also depends on what, what you're concerned about in terms of the attack type. So, uh, so it is true that let's say you have a monolithic legacy type application, that's not going to change very often. It's not going to be you know, updated a thousand times a day, right? Uh, it's just not, not the nature of the way that it's built. Whereas a microservices based application, maybe literally maybe updated a thousand times every single day with uh, you know, new, you know, with DevOps practices and the whole CICD pipeline, it's where all this kind of stuff comes in, right? Um, and so, uh, so the question is again, where do you put the web application firewall or what kind of web application firewall do you put? And so the answer is very likely you're probably going to need, uh, you'll, you'll definitely need at least one applicate or web application firewall, but very likely you may need more than one, frankly. Um, just a quick, uh, just a quick, you know, statistic here. Um, there, some surveys were recently done and found that nearly 85% of all new workloads that are deployed are deployed in containers in like a, a microservices type architecture, but you know, you're talking about like Kubernetes and, and those types of things. So it's a more modern based you know, architecture, of course. Um, and also along with that, over 80% of all internet traffic combined today is, uh, is API calls. So I'm just, I'll put APIs down here real quick. So APIs, right? And so if there's just API calls going on um, and that's, that's 80 plus percent of all internet traffic, you need to think about how are you going to you know, secure those, those APIs. Um, so anyway, whenever, whenever you talk about web application firewalls, you can look at this uh, in, a, in a couple of different ways or, or kind of in, in a, you know, a general way in the sense that a, uh, from, from like an F5 perspective, the advanced WAF, I'll just put a WAF up here um, toward like a monolithic type legacy application and I'll put Nginx app protect down here. This, it's a more modern lightweight, um, you know, uh, application security web application firewall, right? Uh, and you can, you can deploy this and seamlessly in these DevOps environments and all that. So a couple of different things to think about. If you don't have a web application firewall at all, you need to start looking at, hey, what types of applications do I have? How are they architected? Where are they deployed? And if you've got a monolithic, you know, legacy type of application that doesn't change ever and, you know, um, and it just kind of sits there, then you could deploy a web application firewall, a really robust solution with like an advanced WAF that's going to protect that extremely well, right? Um, if you've got microservices based applications <clears throat> that are, you know, in these uh, uh, Kubernetes clusters and, you know, they're on the cloud and they're changing a thousand times a day, then you're going to need a web application firewall that's going to be able to change with that very, very quickly. Um, so it may be true that you're moving your applications from monolithic down to microservices. You're moving from on-prem to uh, in the cloud, right? So you're you're kind of you're kind of moving along this uh, this path, um, you know, as a business, right? And so it may be that you have uh, you know you you want kind of a security front door into your application world. And maybe that security front door could have a web application firewall policy in place there to catch all of just the general stuff, right? So like, hey, I don't want any SQL injection attacks at all, right, on anything. So let me let me kind of put let me put like a web application firewall there, like at the you know at this security entrance point, if you will. Um, and then you know, and then you may deploy other web application firewalls closer to your applications uh, that are deployed in a number of different places, right? So, so if you already have a web application firewall in place, but then you're moving to, you know, you're moving to the cloud, you're moving applications from monolithic to microservices based architectures, uh, and then you start to think to yourself, hey, I really would love to have a web application firewall, you know, very close to this service and then very close to this service and very close to this. And by the way, the reason you would want to do that is um, you can really start to, to get granular with how that specific web application firewall policy protects that specific service. Uh, so it's something good to think about in terms of, you know, 
If you've got a lot of different services or a lot of different applications, um, the question becomes, hey, are there some things that I want to protect, you know, all of those applications against? And the answer is yes. And so you can put like this really robust web application firewall solution there and protect all of kind of the, the general um, attack stuff that's going to, that, that would affect everybody, right? But then um, to put that same exact solution, you know, next to or close to an application um, that you, you may not need all of that robust uh, you know, security policy at every single application. Um, and also from a, from a general perspective, it's good to deploy the security, the web application firewall, as close to the application as you possibly can. It's just a good security um, mindset to have, uh, best practice. So, so as you start to deploy, you know, more modern applications, microservices, um, then the Nginx App Protect web application firewall is going to be a really good solution for you to say, hey, I can deploy this right next to this application or this you know, uh, service, and then I can deploy another one over here and another one over here. So you can just deploy these all over the place, uh, and you can have um, you know, different specialized policies for each of those things. And it's, 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 like I said, it's very lightweight. It's a modern web application firewall. Um, that keeps up with those DevOps practices. It operates seamlessly in those DevOps environments. So you can you know, deploy these um, inside any of these modern architecture environments. So, uh, so again, just kind of a recap really quick. You've got applications all over the place. They're, they're deployed in a number of different ways. You've got attacks coming in across a spectrum of attack you know, types or attack vectors, if you will. Um, and so your web application firewall deployment needs to match what's going on with your network. Uh, so the truth is, number one, you need a web application firewall, but the truth also is just because you have one in place today doesn't mean that that is doing all of the work that it needs to do for all of your applications across all of this big spectrum, right? And so uh, the truth, as you move to a more modern-based um, approach for application uh, deployment, then you want to look at the Nginx App Protect web application firewall to be able to deploy that along with all of the application uh, you know, points that, uh, that you're deploying. So, uh, so anyway, so it's, uh, it's good to, to keep those apps safe out there. So I hope you've, uh, hope you've learned a couple of things here about web application firewall, uh, where to deploy them, and, uh, and you know, where one might make sense or where more than one, frankly, is going to make sense. So thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. Hey, if you like this thing, you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.